this is another one of those great apps that I think in any student's life um, is essential, is definitely essential to their life. Now, um, eh, there's multiple of them. This one's great for someone who needs help studying for stuff that is very uh, facts-based. And it's very important for anybody to know this app in any any li- any field. So, yes, if you're dyslexic, it's a great app to use. Um, some parts of it are harder, but other parts are not. Um, but definitely, if you're in an industry that you need to memorize something, this is one of those apps that you want to know. And I bet you've heard of it. It's one of the more famous ones on this list, I would say, than a couple other ones are way more famous. They're used by almost, I would say, the whole world now. Um, but this one is called Quizlet. It allows you to create content that you're studying, or it allows you to use content that was already created to um, to test yourself on it. Let's say your teacher, for example, let's go for an example, uh, made a quiz for one year when she was te- teaching bio. Now forever, she could give that same quizlet for someone to study. Um, and I did that with my friends. We created one together. We all shared it. We made it. It was amazing. But also, um, yeah, it, it stays in there forever. If you want to make a class, you can make you could share it. But it's also an amazing tool. If you want to learn new new stuff, that's a really bad word. But if you want to learn a new industry or new facts, learn facts, learn about history, learn about science, um, it's definitely a way to go. It makes it fun, easy. They test you on it. And it's great. It's intuitive. I literally today um, had a whole issue with um, something that was not intuitive, and I lost, I would say, I don't see how many hours was on there, close to a couple hundred of hours of notes that I took, recordings, writing, pictures, organization, hours of work, like straight up hours of work. Um, And... I lost it because I clicked the wrong button. I didn't realize it. Whatever. Dyslexia, I didn't read the whole thing. I'm like, okay, whatever. It'll not delete from my iPad. It deleted directly from my iPad with Notability. Um, And it was not Notability's fault at all. They actually have it on their website. Disclaimer literally says, this. I'm going to read this to you verbatim. This is a, if it's a two-way sync with iCloud, if you deleted a note from iCloud, it will also be deleted in Notability. Notes deleted from iCloud cannot be recovered. So please delete notes in Notability instead. That is um, very annoying. In this, sorry about that click. Um, I was just doing a couple of things. And that is annoying on multiple on multiple sets because you never want anything that you could like mess yourself over with, right? Never, never, ever. You want to be able to be simple, cut. And you can make it yourself. If I could be a friend, if I could just pick it up without like doing much, I haven't looked at it in a while. Let's see. Open it up right now. If it opens up right, boom. Where, where, wait, wait, it takes a little long to load. Oh, oh, wow. I haven't been in there so long that it already signed me out. Sign right back in. It, it's uh, continue. And it is it is so easy. It's like intuitive. I love how you just sign in with Google and whatever you want. I already have my tests done. Stay organized. Literally stay organized. Put your quizzes. Create folders for them. Different folders. Let's go search. Um, play a, a Quizlet live with other people. Join a game. That's unreal. Share with your teacher. It's just like it's amazing. Classes. You can look at different classes. You can look at different users. Um, create your own. Uh, what else could we do here? We could manage our own account. We could do random things in here. It's just amazing. It's a it's a useful tool. It looks good. They designed it right. And it's another one of those tools that you want to have under your belt that you got a vocabulary test tomorrow, let's say. I stopped taking those. I made sure of that. I mean, I didn't. it was not my choice, but like whatever, I did that. And then you could just make yourself a vocabulary thing. That's what most people are known. That's what it's known for. I've used it with bio. I've used it with chemistry. I have used it with history. Um, some things it doesn't work with, math. Um, for example, it might work with formulas that you need to know in math, but it doesn't work with everything in math. But it definitely works with a lot. So, um, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's hard. 
No. <laughs> Why did you say it's hard? I feel like it's a great transition. It was not hard. Um, but definitely something you want to pay attention to because it's great to know and great to um and great to have. So yes, I think that if you are anywhere, I'm pretty sure it's free also. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's free. You should get it. If you have a phone, get it. Get on a computer if you have a computer. Um, and yes, it is one of the worth it um, things one can get. Um, and yeah, quiz. I don't know how to spell this, guys. Quizlet. Boom. Quizlet.com. Learning tools, flashcards. It's free. Literally, that's what they say. Ready? We're taking quote right, right from their um, place. Over 90% of students who use Quizlet report higher grades. I like how they say who use Quizlet report higher grades because <laughs> um, the truth is um, if you <laughs> – I don't know how you could, you could say it in multiple ways. Um, the people who usually report back are the ones that either really did really bad or did really good. Um, people who stayed average don't usually complain or whatever. Introduction to Quizlet premium content. Ooh, premium content. Ready? There's over 335,784,000 study sets that you could do right now. It could change by the time this uh, podcast is up. It's going in about, um, it's going in a couple of days, but it's amazing. This is going to be up on May 7th. Um, this is, um, that's crazy. That's crazy. That um you could just do that many and it then every time they just grow and that's what you could have access to. You could also have your own. So Quizlet is the way to go. Um and it's amazing. So I hope you take that good out of a out of a quick um quick um app look at. I don't know. I'm seeing where I'm taking this. I don't know. Let's go. And I hope you have a great day. Be nice to friends, be inclusive and Help advocate for people yourself and other people. Have a great day.